My name is Angelina Lovalente. I am a women's fitness coach and competitive bodybuilder. So it is important for me to lead by example and really be an influence in the health and wellness industry. So I've always been very cognizant about treating my body well and optimizing my health. So that is why I found Titan Medical to really help take my health and wellness to the next level. You know, I have always been really in tune with my body, making sure that my cognitive function is well, um, that my digestion is good, that my energy is up. So I was pretty happy with where I was, but as a competitive bodybuilder, knowing that I wanted to take things to the next level and really have that competitive edge. So once I started taking the Titan Medical Therapies, I mean, it just took me to another level. Um, my energy not only was steady, but sustained through the day. I was able to perform better at work, in the gym, uh, had better endurance. As we know, you know, every day counts when you're a competitor. So being able to push hard and really make the most of the day was really important. Sure, so I take the ECA stack in the morning. It is ephedrine, caffeine, aspirin, uh, B12, and chromium as well. So that has just completely elevated my energy levels. Um, more so than a cup of coffee or a tea in the morning that just gives you that little burst. This is really sustained energy throughout the day. This has allowed me to be more present at work. This has given me the energy to get through my day and still be able to push hard in the gym at the end of the day. Um, I've also been taking the Hercules potion, which is a blend of amino acids um, as well as glutamine and some recovery agents. So that is um, a targeted intramuscular injection. So whether you're doing glutes, you're doing shoulders, um, you can be really specific with getting a good pump in that certain area. So. I remember my first week taking the potion and I don't think I had ever been more sore in my life and that really just enabled me to understand that you know I had maybe been selling myself short in the gym and really had more to give. So every time I've used the potion I've had an incredible workout and really had enhanced recovery on top of that so it's allowed me to perform at my best. I feel like a new person, <laughs> honestly. I was always really happy with my energy levels and was performing better than average in the gym, but now that I have my Titan therapies, I know that I am maximizing every single day. I'm being able to show up better in my work, in my relationships, in the gym, and it's just overall enhanced everything that I do. Oh, it was incredible. So I actually had my consultation right from my bedroom in my pajamas, which was extremely convenient. Uh, the doctor took me through all of the Titan therapies, so I was knowledgeable on each of them, what it included, what was really gonna help support my goals, um, and then customize all the therapies for me specifically. Um, no question went unanswered, and once my consultation was finished, the team followed up immediately, was able to put in my therapies, and they arrived at my door in two days. I couldn't be happier as a Titan patient. Honestly, I feel great, but on top of that, the Titan family has been extremely supportive. Um, everybody is really performing at their best and is extremely supportive, so I'm happy to be a part of the team. What's up guys, John here from Titan, and today I wanna to talk to you about a commonly asked question I get from patients and people alike. That's John, 
when should I get my blood checked? All right, what's a good time for me? And I always tell them, it really depends on a couple main factors. One, your genetics, your DNA, what you're made of, right? Who you came from. Two, your diet, what you're intaking every single day because you are what you eat. Three, your age plays a major role in this, right? To determine where you're at in life and where the decline and some of these different things could be at. Four, medications you may be taking, like antidepressants. We know this can lower testosterone and do a number of other different health issues to you. When we talk about all these different things, we really wanna look at our life as it is right now, right? So it's really a person to person scenario is, are you feeling tired? Is your recovery, does it suck after you get done with workouts? Does it take you days and days and days to recover? Three, your mental clarity. Do you have any brain fog? Are you thinking really good? Sexual activity. Are you doing really good in the bedroom or are you not doing so good and you don't know what is going on? These could all be red flags to tell you, you may need to get a blood test to check not just your vital organs, but your hormones, like free and total testosterone levels, estrogen levels, progesterone levels, IGF-1 levels, B12 levels, and more. So when you're asking this question of when I should get my blood test checked, you should be telling yourself, well, am I feeling any of these different things? And if I am feeling these things, then it's time for me to get my blood test taken so I can see where all these levels are at. You want to know this in the beginning. The faster you find out what's going on, the better it will be to correct the issues or to optimize the different things like your hormones and bring them back to a good level. So you improve your quality of life day in and day out. And that's what it's all about. Feeling good almost every single day. We're not perfect, so we might not feel good every single day. But the majority of your days, you want to have a great day, right? And that will improve a lot of different things around you, from your personal relationships, your work, right? Your own life in general. So if you guys are experiencing any of these different negative symptoms, bedroom problems, libido issues, uh, weight gain, recovery, lethargic, these are things that you need to say, hey, listen, there's something going on here and I really need to check it out. That's when you can call us here at Type Medical Center or text us 727-389-3220. We can set you up with a blood test anywhere in the country, both males and females. So if you guys want to find out what's really going on inside of your body, you'll contact Titan today. I appreciate it and we'll bring you more videos to discuss some of these different things out there that will help you improve your quality of life. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jessica and I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center and I want to talk to you today about BPC-157. This healing peptide is amazing. It helped me get back to working out and I'm lifting the way that I was previously. It has collagen boosters to really help with that repair and maintenance of those fibrous tissues like your muscles, ligaments, and tendons. It helps to down-regulate cytokines and akin sequestrins which play a role in the inflammatory process within the body and then helps with angiogenesis which is the growth of new blood vessels to really bring and support nutrients to the tissues. If you have any nagging injuries, inflammation, tendonitis, this is going to be the healing peptide for you. Call and text us at 727-389-3220 or visit us at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up guys? John here from Titan and today I want to do a Titan myth busting segment just for you guys. So let's talk about one of these subjects. This one I get quite a few comments about and questions about. John, running or cardiovascular activity is gonna give me more muscle definition and tone and increase muscle size. So let's break this down because there's a little bit of truth in that, but there's a lot of false statement in that too as well. So let's talk about it. So when we do cardiovascular exercise, let's talk about long distance runners, sprinters, marathon, whatever you wanna say. When we talk about those people, let's get an image in our mind of what those people really look like we've seen on TV. What do they look like? Do they look really big and, and jacked and running down the, the, you know, the track or the sidewalk or whatever they're running on the street? Uh, no, you're probably not gonna see that. They're gonna be usually, if they're professional, really lean and, and, and 
they'll, they'll be cut, but they'll be really small as far as body mass, right? You're not going to see like Big Drew running marathons professionally and doing well, okay? That just is what it is. It's because when we do cardiovascular exercise, we are actually, you know, burning a lot of calories, right? We're slimming down. And that's why the, the runners look really, really thin. Now, some of those runners nowadays are having really thick or stronger legs, and that's because that's what's giving them all the power to run, right? But when we talk about building muscle, we have to talk about lifting weights, because lifting weights is what's going to break down the muscle and actually help you repair and regather and rejuvenate and rebuild those muscles to be bigger and stronger. That's why we do weight training. Okay? So it's better to do weight training with cardiovascular exercise. Cardiovascular exercise is great. Great for the heart, right? It's great for the body as far as leaning down or slimming up. You know, if you want to slim up, you want to lose weight, you definitely should add cardiovascular exercise in your routine. Even if you don't want to lose weight, just for cardiovascular health, you want to add cardiovascular activity into your daily regimens or weekly regimens, whatever it is. At that point, you're doing what's best for your body and staying healthy. Okay? But it's not going to help you grow bigger muscles, right? So if you're thinking about getting your arms bigger, when you run, that's not going to get your arms bigger. Now, some of the truth and myth to this. So doing cardiovascular exercise is going to give you more chiseled muscles. So it's really not chiseling the muscles, but what it is doing is, is leaning you out. If you have a smaller body fat percentage, those muscles and definition are going to stand out a lot more. So if that's what you're looking for, then cardiovascular exercise is a great activity for you. If you want to gain lean muscle mass, you definitely want to add in weight training and not just cardiovascular activity, okay? I see a lot of girls out there, I just want to be toned and stuff like that. Well, cardiovascular activity will get some of the weight off and body fat off, and you might look more toned. But if you really want to look more toned, you'll add some weights in there. And at that point, you'll get all the benefits of getting lean body mass and being lean at the exact same time. So I hope you guys have listened. And I hope you guys are agreeing with me that cardiovascular exercise is not going to get you more jacked, but it's definitely going to get you more lean. So you're not going to get a whole bunch of muscle, but you will get some more definition out of it. Appreciate you guys. Just another myth-busting fact from Titan Medical Center to you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'll be bringing you more myth-busting facts from Titan Medical Center real soon. Thank you. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Jessica Azzarello, a.k.a. The Attic Queen, and I am here in Channel Side visiting Titan Medical Center. I've been a patient now for a little bit over six months, and honestly, I feel great. Feel like I look great too. Um, over the last six months I've definitely done a huge transformation in terms of how I'm feeling. You know I work extremely hard. I own and operate an insulation company and it's a lot of work. There'll be times where I'm in an attic anywhere from four to 14 hours in a given day and doing the work and at times you know I feel like I can't go anymore. Uh, definitely my therapies do kick in. Um, whether I'm taking my stacks or my Hercules potions. So that's phenomenal. Um, on a personal level, I do tend to love to get dressed up and be fancy. So one of my goals was to regrow my hair, um, have a really amazing glow with my skin. The injectable biotin um, that I've been taking, as well as the hair, skin, and nail pills that I've been taking, the glutathione, which is the mother of antioxidants, all of that is coming into play. And it's really helping me balance out my life my goals and I just feel incredible. To learn more about how Titan Medical Center can help you feel better, look better, and perform at optimal levels, call us today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife over here are helping you guys out with tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully enhance, entice, and uplift your relationship to new, better levels than they already are. And if you're already at a good level, you can always progress and make it better, right? You can always be better. It's always a work in progress, all the time, no matter what. And today, we want to cover a, a topic, or maybe two, 
um, to maybe help you guys out and maybe understand some different things. Maybe you're in a relationship now or maybe you're not in a relationship. This will help either way, I think, and maybe you have your own answers to our questions. So the first one is, is you know, when do you truly know you're in love with somebody, right? Um, this is a word that's thrown around a lot even more today. Um, I love you, I love you, and, and people could be together for two days, a week, three weeks, like whatever I love it is. you so much. You know? Like, do you even know me? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Or are you only familiar with my Instagram profile? Right. Like, I love your Instagram profile. Okay. What they perceive of you, exactly. what they, they put in their mind of what you, who you are and what you do. Exactly. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a good question out there, right? Because I'm sure, you know, you guys have been in relationships in the past where maybe you thought you've loved somebody. Do they love you back? Do you know that? Not know that? And was it really true love? Um, a lot of people out there are looking for true love and people go out there and search for it every single day. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, those people that are like looking for it directly hardly ever find it yeah. and get in bad relationships because they're looking for it so bad. Yeah. Typically, uh, it just taps you upside the head when you're not looking for it and you're like, yeah. what is, what's, yeah. what's going on here? Cupid's yeah. like, boom. That's right. You get hit with that arrow from Cupid's Corner. Pow, pow. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it, it's a really good question to ask. And, you know, I mean, I can only speak from, you know, my experience, obviously, with my wife. You know, when I knew, you know, she was the one, per se, like, you know, I didn't want to be around anybody else. I, you know, nothing really excited me as far as that goes. Mm. Um, you know, we had a lot of the exact same interests uh, in common. So it was pretty easy for us to go out, have fun, laugh. Um, it didn't take a whole bunch of money or anything crazy that, you know, we were experiencing together to really feel that bond together. And obviously, you know, when we came together as one, that's how I'm going to put it in here. Uh, you know, that's another another way, you know, I, I felt like, hey, listen, this is the right thing for me. Um, and I knew that I want to spend the rest of my life with her. I want to have a family with her. Um, and I knew everything was just going to fall into place. Hopefully, right? That's what I was praying for because you never know, like, if it's going to be a like, good thing, bad thing. I don't know. She doesn't know how to cook or clean. What am I going to do? Yeah. Ah! Yeah. So those are things that, you know, you might have a list that you've compiled like, through the so years. But I'm so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> he tells me that all the time. You're so pretty. She's so pretty. <laughs> That's the problem. She gets like, away, hold on, wait she gets a minute. too much garbage because she's too pretty. Hold on, wait a minute. I'm like, I'm smart. I'm like, listen, end up being your business partner. I'm like, I'm doing something right over here, right? So, you know, okay. so you, you got you to really, you know, you know, ask yourself and look down deep, you know. And like I said, through your years of experience, whether you're older or younger, you've been through relationships, you know what you don't like. You know what you do like, right? And maybe what you should go for, you know, because some people are in that history repeating itself type situation where if they're with a bad guy or a bad girl, they go back into relationships with bad guys and bad girls mm -hmm. instead of making the change. If you see the red flags in the beginning, you obviously know that, hey, listen, this person might not be for me. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if everything is lining up and you have some things on your, your list that, you know, you have checked off that you want and it's not there... You know, that's something that maybe could be worked on in the future, but if you really have those feelings, and it's love, not lust, right? Because those are two different things. Yeah, big time. You know, and like, listen, uh, bouncing off what he's saying, you know, like, uh, you might ha find somebody, and I'm going to use myself as an example, and this is a terrible example because, you know, we are on Titan Medical Center and we live a healthy lifestyle. And listen, I, I live a kind of healthy lifestyle now, okay? Because, I mean, I, I still eat some french fries and pizza. It's healthier. I'm allowed, I'm allowed to be, you know, <laughs> the whole normal. But, you know, back in the day, I was a smoker. You know, I smoked cigarettes. And, you know, when John met me, he was like, eh, eh, eh. And I'm like, dude, I smoke two packs a day. I'm like, I'm not quitting smoking, right? So sure enough, because I knew that he was the one, and this is not how I knew, but this is when you know that you're willing to give up something. I'm not saying cigarettes are the, you know, tell all, tell all. You know, let's say, you know, whatever it was 15 years ago, cigarettes were way more popular than they are now. Now you're smoking cigarettes, like, what are you doing? Back then it was like, yeah, we're, we're all smoking cigarettes. I mean, that, that 20 years ago, that's what, what it was. But, I mean, everybody's kind of evolved, and everybody knows that you need to live a healthier lifestyle, and that's not good for you, right? We all know it's not good for you. So, you know, you know when you're in love, and this was for me anyway, is when you just get that feeling inside. You know, you like you get that feeling, and to this day, 15 years later, whatever it is, 14 years later, I just double the years. It's really 30 because we spent all the minutes together so i just double the days because okay. i mean it's, it's it's just really 30 years so anyways um you know I, when you get that feeling in your stomach you know the one that you like when you're ro rolling off the roller coaster and you get that like butterflies the butterflies and you're like <gasps> he takes your breath away 
that kind of feeling, don't ignore that feeling. That's a feeling of, okay, I, I think I, I might really care about this person or they might be doing something for you that's giving you that feeling. And you're like, okay, and that's that's your intuition. You know, sometimes you want to listen to your intuition. And you got you, there's things that you can change in relationships if you really think it's going to work. And that's my example that, listen, you know, I loved him enough and he loved me enough to say, listen, you know what? She's a smoker. I'll stick with her a little bit longer and see if she'll quit for me, which I did. And, you know, I, you know, I quit for him i didn't really even quit for me i quit for him and now i'm like thank you for making me quit you know so but ultimately it, it truly is when you know you'll do anything and that, that's truly what, what it comes down to when you have unconditional love for someone you'll do anything it doesn't matter what this person does will do says you will get over it you'll get past it you will make it happen no matter what that is called unconditional love right unconditional love it's You'll love them no matter what. If they get sick, I mean, when you when you marry someone, you take the vows, right? Yeah. For sicker, or poor, it yeah. doesn't matter. But you know, you you can't just love somebody for when they're when they're perfect and everything's perfect because not everything is so perfect, right? And I mean, think right. about how many people out there right now are going through like you know they meet somebody they like them and then boom, just throw it away. Who cares? Yeah. It's like why not even try to work on it a little bit if you found somebody you kind of like, yeah. you know, that's not scrolling through a million different apps or whatever they're doing out there nowadays. I mean, it's hard to find good people. True. It really is. You know, so it's it, that that feeling, don't ignore the intuition because the intuition, it'll kind of lead you in the right direction, at least to tell you like, oh, you know what? Like, I didn't want to be around anybody else but him too. You know, like, I mean, even I used to always tell him like, don't track me down. Don't call me. Don't even ask where I'm going. And he literally, can you believe that he literally didn't ask where I was going or like track me down? I was so upset. I'm like, what is wrong with you? And he's like, well, tell me not to call you. I'm like, but I didn't mean that. <laughs> So he flipped the script on me, and all of a sudden I was like, <clears throat> and I just latched on like a little baby panda, and then here I am. <laughs> so, and, you know, I mean, that's a good point. You should follow, definitely follow your intuition of what you think, right? But then on the flip side of that, does this person deserve all the love that you're giving them too? Are they reciprocating back to you? Because that's one thing that happens too. One person falls in love, the other person is not in love, and then the one person is basically on the lower end taking all the abuse or whatever it is or giving everything they have and the other person's not reciprocating. So, you know, somebody that deserves that love too as well, that's when you really give it. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to go through some of the bad times to see if that person's going to stick with you through the good times, yeah. right? Because they're going to ultimately see you at probably your lowest or your worst at one time or another if they're with you all the time. And at that point, you know, is it acceptable to you, right, as a person? You know, can you get through this? Can you live with this? And then at that point, you know, um, is that person, you know, still going to be in your corner, right? Because that's what it is. When everything is working out perfectly, mm -hmm. yeah, everybody's around. Everybody's like, yeah, high five and all not. But when things are really down, the chips are down, who's around you? Who's going to be there for you? That's really who shows you, you know, are they going to be in that corner and have that unconditional love for you or are they not? Mm -hmm. You know, today I think that people just get over people so much quicker because they feel like they have so many different options out there and the grass is always green on the other side of the fence. This is farthest from the truth that you could possibly see. Um, and people just go by social media. They look at it's so different you know, now. You know, it's like it's it's it, it's I call it the instant gratification feeling. You know, you, you you go you post a picture, right? Let's just say let's say I post a picture, right? Well, this isn't gonna happen with me. Let me use somebody else because this would be a bad example. Let's say a girl posts a picture and she posts a cute picture of herself, right? And then she gets I don't know. Let's call it 200 likes, right? And she gets 200 likes. I'm just making this up. She's 200 likes in, I don't know, 10 minutes, right? Now that girl, let's just say, is like, oh, I'm like so beautiful and I'm just so awesome and everything's so awesome about me. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, you know, I'm just, I'm amazing. Like, what's your problem? You know, <laughs> that is, I swear that is, I, and I'm telling you because I'm behind the scenes and I know what happens with you know some of these girls that you know are posting and guys go on there they get the instant gratification of people writing nice things about you that don't know you but writing nice things about you liking all your pictures and all this jazz and it gives you that like false sense of like 
What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? I mean, you're pumping your head up, basically. Right. I mean, that's what it is. You think, and then you forget the, yeah. the person that, that that's in your corner that actually loves you when you're in your pajamas and you got your hair up in a bun and you got your little slippers on, you know, and you're looking all sorts of cute. And for some of you guys, you got, you know, you take off your lashes and you wash your face and all of a sudden it's a whole different story and they still love you. Okay. Yeah. So you need to keep those people around because they still love you after you've washed your face off. It's true. It's really true. I'm, I'm, I'm not messing with you, but yeah, I'm messing with you. <laughs> when you find this person, then you know, what does it take to have a successful, long-lasting relationship, right? Because you found the person you love now. It's still a job, right? You're still working towards being better together, all right? You're learning stuff about each other day in and day out. I don't care if you've been together for 14, 15 years, 20 years. You might still find something new about that person you never knew, mm -hmm. right? Or they might have a new like that they have or whatever the case may be. But at that point, you know, you're still working on things. You're still, you know, going out and having alone time together, right? Because that's a big thing, right? Mm -hmm. Even tough. when you have a family and you have kids and the that's whole time, tough. you gotta you gotta have some sort of quality time between the two of you guys. Because without the two of you guys, that family would have never been created, right? So at that point, there is a priority there. I know some people are like, no, oh, the kids are the number one priority. Or the business is the number one priority. Of course, that's what I'm saying. So. Yeah. You know, you have these different things. You know, you have people that have their careers. Yeah, of course, your career, your business, whatever it is, is definitely a priority because that is what, you know, provides a livelihood for your family. Right. Um, but, you know, at that point, you know, remember why you're doing that stuff too, right? Is right. it for your loved ones? And you got to show your loved ones love and you got to be able to take them out and enjoy time with them. Um, and it gets a little bit trickier when you're in business together and you're doing all these different things because, you know, time just, it, it just, it, they, it, mesh. they mesh and you never know when it's, Stop time and go time. It's never stop time for us. It's Just never go stop. time. So <laughs> make sure you're setting some of those boundaries. If you catch yourself in those situations or scenarios, um, because it, it'll put more strain on the relationship if you guys don't. Right. So these are just some tips and tricks from us. We want to talk about love and having some success with a long lasting relationship. Remember, keep working at it. Do all the things that you did in the beginning of the relationship to get you guys to that point. Exercise right? the option. Exercise it all day with each other, not yeah. other people. Aye. All right. So <laughs> these are just some great tips and tricks for me and my beautiful wife, Sharice, here. We'll see you guys every Sunday here on Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. on ABC. And don't worry if you didn't DVR it, you didn't get to see it live. Just over to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, you'll get to see all the great Cupid Corners episodes and a lot, lot more cool content from us here in Type Medical Center. Love you guys, appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys next week. See you then.